Okay, here we are back to the KTD collage video. I decided to go ahead and pursue National Geographic March 1964. Even though I started by cutting out a few pieces and stupidly leaving them on a table with a glass of water next to it, and what happened was that those animals over there, direct camera to animals over there, those animals, <laughs> I probably misaligned the camera now, knocked the glass of the water and ruined the collage pieces. But I decided to persevere and continue with March 1964 to make my next National Geographic collage. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about how I selected pieces. So I scoured this thing page by page by page, looking at every little detail, every little advertisement, photo, fringe pattern to decide what I was going to use. Looking for two, two kinds of images, um, background pieces and details. So I build a background out of details that have patterns and colors and repetitions and form and give depth of moving in and out. And then I like to cut out in, in extreme detail little pieces to build a world on top of that. So I layer a map and then I put inhabitants in that map. So let me show you examples of what I did not use from the issue. So like we, I said, the issue has a huge spread on John F. Kennedy's funeral. And so while I absolutely love images of Jackie O in her black veil mourning, that that's such an iconic and great image, I would never use it because it's way too specific and has way too much history, haha, huh, bound into it and recognition. So um, while I might use that for something else because I like it, I might cut it out and send it to you as a gift, I'm not going to put it in the collage. Nor would I use something like that, which is very specific also. So um, also in this issue of National Geographic, there's a whole issue, uh, there's a whole thing on gorillas um, Jambo. There's Jambo. See if I can get you a picture. This is Jambo, first gorilla raised by its mother in captivity. Nothing about these gorillas was screaming my name and saying, use me in a collage. It was not the world I wanted cr to create. Even though I love this picture of the man holding up the gorilla, hopefully you can see that, wasn't going to work. So in today's mood, <laughs> I'm thinking, hey, that's not so bad. Um, there was one image in here that I thought I might use which is, if you can look up closely, there's that woman who's like abstracted behind the cage. So I actually really might use her, but just, uh, again, removing all the gorillas from the gorilla ad and just using this woman abstracted from the cage because I like to remove the focus of the uh, article. Pieces that I did select. So I went to the JFK funeral pieces, I mean, the, the magazine's like half full of that, so I had to find something to use. So what did I pick? Well, I picked JFK's chair. No JFK, but JFK's chair. Um, to add to that, I cut out some CIA guys. So none of JFK's mourning family, no images of the casket being paraded um, with the flag drawn over it, but I got some CIA, some CIA guys and I got this empty chair, and I have an anonymous, sad, mourning person because I like the, um, I just like the shape of her and the feel of the form, that kind of hand and the way she's leaning down. Okay, um, I love these women, <laughs> these images of, of women, these images of women, and I love the expressions on their faces, but just like having them smack in the middle of the collage would be just so obvious and not interesting at all. And so even though like I liked them, I wasn't sure if I would use them. But then what happened is I found this guy in a bubble and I thought, hey, maybe if I put these images coming out of the bubble, then I can kind of reverse the idea of the woman under the bubble while the man looks on, but instead it's the man under the bubble. And I kind of like that, but I wasn't fully committed to it. But then I found this woman, and she was holding a giant ball of grain in the way that women from these other cultures hold giant, I mean bowls, I'm using the wrong words like crazy today, giant bowls of grain. And so what I did is I cut out the grain, I removed the grain, 
and then see if I can do this. And I thought, hey, what if I have her holding the man in the bubble? Okay, I need an extra hand. And then have <laughs> these coming out. Then I've got something I like. So I've got the guy in the bubble and the woman controlling him by holding him instead of a bowl of grain. So she's controlling his image and then these other ones. So that was that. Um, also, as I told you, there is a whole spread on preparing to take off to the moon. And so I had to pick things to use from that. But again, I'm not going to pick the obvious. So um, I'm not going to do like this. Even as cool and retro as this illustration of a rocket is, I'm like, I, I'm not going to use that. It's way too obvious. So for the astronaut pieces, I found, where did he go? Come on, guys. I'm doing this with bifocals. Well. Okay. I found this image, which I really liked, because it's hard to tell if that's one man or three, so it, it trips you out, like, is, are you looking at one person or are you looking at three? And also the way that it works, it looks like time lapse already. And then it has this little pole that had this giant ball -y fuse thing. Well, I removed the fuse, and I'm going to put something else there, which I haven't decided yet. But so that, I picked this instead of one of the more obvious pictures of the astronauts. And then I picked background pieces for the industrial grid work because I really love these and I will talk a little bit more about that background in a second. Um, there was also a whole article on Yemen in here and again I don't like to exoticize any specific, you know the way National Geographic is notorious for exoticizing the other and um, so while I find images that I like I have to figure out how to balance them and how to make that work equally with everything else within my collage to create this kind of journey and this 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 um, land like I talked about like building a geography um, perfect geography National Geographic so like I really love this guy I love the flow of his body and how he's moving and how he's looking down these kind of angles I always like because they they help move things through but just just like if I just placed him right in the middle of the collage hey everybody look at him is he cool and he's very other um, no way I'm going to do that. So I have to make sure that I have him working with the astronauts and with the women and with JFK's chair all together in some capacity. I also like this guy. Is the other one I picked from the Yemen because um, I love his radio and I love the way that he put, I don't know if you can see this, but he decorated his radio with like ribbon and rickrack and things. and. The collages to me are sort of like broadcast, you know, they're broadcasting this different world and so that's how I see them. I always see them as almost like like it's caught between a lot of different channels and all these different images are coming and they all come together into this one kind of alternate universe that you can open the door and go in them. I used to make these great big huge collages, really big things, and I built door frames around them and actually put um, glass doorknobs, antique glass doorknobs on them, so they look like you could open the door and go into that world. These are just smaller versions of them. Also, I picked out these hands holding the Koran, so you can't really tell that that's the Koran. I removed the body entirely from it, but I like the fact that it's like this floating image that has, you know, spiritual connotations, etc., but I took the specificity out of it. Um, the other thing I have to do then is find background pieces, because I build a grid, and so I select a lot of different pieces we're looking for color and pattern and fluidity and I also like things to move and change depth and I like to me I like to know when I build that background the background in itself is almost a single piece and like I recognize that it's all behind all those pieces and it's really part of the world for me like I said I build the maps and I put the things on top of it 